Hello everybody, it's Captain Ooch here, and today I want to talk about a topic that I was just made aware of. Net neutrality in the EU. Okay guys, listen. We're gonna be talking about something that isn't video games or my life for a change, and... If you don't want to watch, I understand, but I really urge you, especially if you live in a European country, because I know a large chunk of my audience is European, to hear me out here. Don't click away. Right now, in Europe, you guys are going to be doing something that us Americans recently went through. The fight for net neutrality. Now, I'm only a small-time YouTuber, just one guy in his bedroom with a camera and a microphone in a small mountain town, middle of nowhere, in America. Why do I care what goes on in Europe? Well, that's because if the EU does not vote in favor of net neutrality, anyone who's small on the internet, like myself, or you, or anybody you enjoy, any businesses, content creators, we could get silenced. Any of the social media platforms we promote our content on could be silenced. Services we enjoy could be a thing of the past. The small businesses and small content creators you love, your access to us could be in danger. In America, we fought for and won net neutrality. And considering a large chunk of you are European, like I said, I feel I gotta say something on the topic. You know, imagine an internet where you have to pay extra to access social media. You gotta buy the Facebook and Twitter package. Just like how you gotta buy the HBO and Showtime package for your TV. It sucks. Nobody wants that. Imagine an internet where... If somebody links a video on a social media site like Reddit, but it's for a video on YouTube, instead of that video being embedded, it won't load there. You have to go to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever service you prefer to use to get access to your video. Nobody wants that. Imagine a future where if you want to watch Netflix or Hulu to keep up with your favorite shows or movies, you can't. In order to get shows and movies, you now have to get a cable or satellite TV subscription because Netflix and Hulu have been throttled into oblivion. And it's 100% legal. Imagine a world where you want to play games with your friends and you decide to use Skype or Discord in order to have voice chat with them and the calls don't go through or the quality is so bad that they're cutting in and out and you can't have a conversation. So you have to get a VOIP service from your ISP, or even go back to landline telephones just to talk to people. And that's expensive as hell, and nobody wants that. That's what you guys are in danger of having happen. It may not be that bad, it may be worse. Net neutrality is a very serious topic, and... In the Wild West of the Internet, and yeah, the Internet is a bit of a Wild West, we need it to be that, because that allows for people like me, people like you, and small content creators, large content creators, small businesses, large businesses, it allows us to have equal footing. We all have the same opportunity out here, and that's a necessary thing in today's world. Without the Wild West of the Internet, we'd go back to major media controlling everything. You'd get their news, their stories, their content, their products, their opinions. You don't get small people. That could all go away without net neutrality. Net neutrality means that everyone on the Internet must be treated as equals, be they a large corporation or some random jackass in his bedroom. I mean, seriously, why everybody right now, we're all random jackasses in our bedrooms. Do you do you want to be less than that? Do you want to have to be under someone's foot? Do you want to have to pay extra for the content and services you want? No. Right now, the internet allows people like me, people like you, to be able to reach people, to be able to reach markets that... 15 or 20 years ago we couldn't touch because we didn't have a means of accessing them. Europe, it's your turn to fight for net neutrality. Call your lawmakers, write them, tell them you want net neutrality, sign the petitions, take the social media, make your voice heard. We did it over here across the pond in America and now we're counting on you to continue the fight and win. 
Because if you don't win, it's going to set a precedent that could possibly overturn net neutrality here, or other places that have it. So, we need you to fight, guys. We need you out there. We need you to get net neutrality through in Europe. Below, there'll be a link in the description to savenetneutrality.eu, where you'll find petitions and information on how you can make your voice heard. This is Captain Hooch signing off. Good night, everybody.